Uh, welcome everybody. Um, this is my acrylic painting tips and this week I wanted to talk to you about how do you choose uh, a particular brand of acrylic paints to, to paint in and I get asked all the time, you know, why do you choose the, the brand that, that you use? How did you choose the brand that you use? And um, it basically came down to the result I wanted um, for the end product in my painting. And I like my paintings to look uh, oil-like and uh, when they're finished. And um, therefore, I've chosen a paint that um, is very similar to an oil, oil um, paint consistency. I like the paint to be uh, you know, nice and thick and, and, and luscious, really buttery. But I also like it to have the same sort of um, covering power that, that oil does. So it's got to be heavily pigmented. And um, when I did my research, I, I've, uh, I came up with, with this brand and, and I just love it. There is a, a myriad, there's a whole heap of different brands out there on the market. And I'm not saying any one is better than the other, but it all comes down to an individual uh, taste and you have to choose the right brand of paint for you. In my case, because I want it to look um, an oil-like at the end, I've gone for a paint that is very, very thick and very heavily pigmented. I also like this brand of paint because they've given me a lot of support material uh, for me to, in order for me to make my decision. And I love the, the brushes, the colour brushes that, that come with this paint. You've got um, all the information about uh, how heavily bodied they are and, and um, you know, the, the characteristics of the paints, whether they're opaque, uh, transparent, um, semi-opaque, semi-transparent. And uh, I like all of that. I like the fact that it tells me um, how, how light, fast they are. And I also like the fact that they've actually painted the, um, the direct colours on, onto a, a sheet so it's not actually a print. I can actually see the opacity and I can actually see the, the quality and the intensity of the hue in this paint as well. So I, I'm really thrilled with, with this brand of paint. This is actually um, a Schmincke brand paint uh, made in Germany and um, their white, the, um, the opaqueness of their white, their, the pigment of their white is, is unsurpassed. It's, it's just brilliant. And um, so that's, that's the reason I've chosen this colour, uh, sorry, this brand of paint. One of the main things you should check for when you're selecting your brand of paint is to make sure that it is um, the best quality and, and, and artist quality brand. Now most artist quality paints have actually got that written on them. A student quality paints are great, they've got their purpose in the market. But I want my paintings to be around for a, a long period of time and therefore I want um, the best quality for, for my, my paintings and, and, and for my clients. And so therefore I've chosen a paint that is, is very, a very good quality. This is actually finest artist acrylic and um, I also love the way that um, Schmincke have um, given me all the information that I need or require on, on this tube so it just makes it easy for me to um, quickly recognise colours. So for example, um, they've put the fact that it is uh, transparent opaque or, or semi-opaque or semi-transparent actually on the tube. It's told me how um, light, how good the light fastness is on them and it's also told me the, the series of it so there's a, a price check as well. But what I also love is that they've given me a, um, a pigment code on there so I can match up with uh, other brands of paints if I, if I need to. Um, so in this case, the, the pigment code is, um, this is actually a Quinacridone magenta, and uh, the pigment code on the back is pigment red 122. So I can actually marry that up with other brands of paints out there, and I find that, um, that very handy. So that's your tip for, for this week. Until next time, um, please try and keep your brushes wet and um, have fun painting.